In this video, we're using common household chemicals to achieve interesting oxidation effects for finishing metal-bearing 3D printed parts. Our Cura 2 Lulzbot Edition slicing software includes profiles for over 30 different filament types, including the ColorFab Bronze Fill and Protopasta Magnetic Iron PLA filaments we'll be using in this tutorial. Oxidation occurs when metals undergo an electron exchange between substances. This is commonly encountered with iron, copper, bronze, and brass. The chemical process involves the movement of electrons from the metal to oxygen molecules. Negative oxygen ions are generated and enter the metal, creating an oxide surface. We can accelerate this process by applying an oxidizing agent or electrolyte. The four chemicals we'll be using in this experiment are vinegar and salt, hydrogen peroxide and salt, ammonia-based polish like this Brazo metal polish, and good old-fashioned bleach. It's very important you don't mix bleach with any other chemicals, as it can create dangerous chlorine gas, potentially leading to serious injury. Keep each of your experiments a safe distance from each other and work in a well-ventilated area. There are two basic methods we'll use for each compound. The first involves either submerging or spraying each print with the chemical compound in a spray bottle several times over the course of multiple days. This method involves placing your 3D printed parts in a non-metallic container like these glass baking dishes. The second method is to thoroughly douse the prints with each chemical, wrap them in a paper towel, and seal them in a plastic bag. This method works best with small prints, like these Lulzbot keychains. Links for these and all the other print files can be found in the description for this video. Before oxidation, we lightly sanded our prints to expose more of the metal on the surface. First up is the salt and vinegar solution with our magnetic iron PLA and bronze fill parts. Start by dissolving salt in vinegar. Add enough salt so the solution becomes saturated. When you can no longer dissolve the salt, you've added enough. For this compound, we use both application methods. First pouring the solution over the prints for the plastic bag method, and then adding parts to the glass container and pouring the solution over the prints every few hours. The spray bottle is a little ineffective for this solution because excess salt tends to clog the straw, so you may have to lightly pour the solution over the prints every few hours. Next is the salt and hydrogen peroxide solution with magnetic iron PLA and bronze fill parts. This time, instead of using the spray bottle, we tried completely submerging the parts in the solution. This is an exciting one to watch as the solution causes a fun foaming effect. For our third chemical, bleach, we again use the magnetic iron PLA and bronze fill parts. Bleach works well with both the soaked paper towel method and the spray bottle method. Finally, the Brazo ammonia based polish gets applied to the bronze fill printed parts. Liberally apply the polishing compound for a large oxide buildup, or for a more reserved finish, use a smaller amount. Different amounts of coverage can yield some pretty interesting results, so don't be afraid to try a few variations. It's very important that you make sure to label all your solutions and work areas to prevent cross-contamination. Remember, on their own, these substances are safe to work with, but accidentally combining them can be dangerous. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more great content like this and share your own cool oxidized metal prints by tagging us on social media.